Hey everyone, it's Tyler the Antenna Man, and today I'm going to review Mint Mobile. Mint offers unlimited wireless service with plans starting at just $15 a month. With a price this low, just how good is the service? This video was made in partnership with Mint Mobile. If you decide you want to try the network out after my video review, be sure to use my referral link at mintmobile.com forward slash antenna man to help support the YouTube channel. So Mint Mobile runs off T-Mobile's nationwide network, which has been significantly improved over the years. I'm not going to lie, T-Mobile's network used to be trash in my area, but that's no longer the case, as you'll see a bit later in this video. Mint Mobile offers a variety of wireless service plans from $15 to $30 a month, depending on how much data you use. All plans include unlimited calling, texting, hotspot, and technically unlimited data, but the speeds are reduced after you hit the cap on your plan. Past the three-month introductory rate, you will need to pay for a year of service to keep the lowest rate. This is why it's a good reason to test drive the network for a few months before paying for a full year. I tested Mint Mobile's network for about three months, comparing it directly with my Cricut Wireless service, which runs off the AT&T network. The first aspect of Mint Mobile I'm going to talk about is probably the most important to everyone, including myself, network coverage. For years, T-Mobile's network coverage was behind AT&T and Verizon. However, the company has significantly expanded coverage to rural areas thanks to newly acquired 5G Spectrum. I saw this firsthand in the area I grew up in. About 10 years ago, T-Mobile's service was pretty spotty in certain areas. Now it's on par with AT&T and even better in some locations. While coverage in my home area was great, I wanted to see how Mint Mobile worked in more rural areas that were ignored for a while by parent company T-Mobile. To do this, I test drove the network on a trip from Eastern Pennsylvania to Central Pennsylvania. To my surprise, the network did not cut out at all the whole trip as I streamed a music app. By contrast, AT&T cut out in some locations where the data was too slow. This is an issue I'll talk about a bit later in the video. Last June, I pushed the limits of Mint Mobile's network even further by testing it all the way through Virginia and Tennessee on a trip. Unfortunately, my phone was stolen at the music festival I attended, so I lost all the speed test comparisons from my Cricut wireless phone, but I'll explain exactly what I remember. Coverage was very solid for most of the trip, but there were a few small spots in Southern Virginia when the service cut out for maybe a minute or two, when it was still good with Cricket Wireless, but that was about it. Overall, it was very good. At the music festival, I was able to keep in touch with my group using Mint Mobile, because I had the backup phone, despite network congestion with 80,000 people in one area. There were a few times when my text didn't send, and I thought, here we go. This is a compromise of a low-priced wireless service. I later found out that my friends had the same issue with text not going through on AT&T and Verizon. So the problem wasn't due specifically to Mint Mobile, but rather extreme network congestion on all carriers. So in terms of network coverage, Mint Mobile really exceed my expectations. With the exception of a few small spots in Southern Virginia, surrounded by the Blue Ridge Mountains, coverage was completely solid everywhere I traveled, including in rural areas. You can check Mint Mobile's coverage in your town and even your exact address by going to mintmobile.com forward slash coverage or following my link in the description of the video. The next aspect of Mint Mobile I'm going to cover in this video is the speed and it won't take too long. In nearly every speed test I ran, Mint Mobile was either comparable or significantly faster than the AT&T network. I actually know of several locations where AT&T has coverage, but the data is extremely slow and it's not because of network congestion. It's almost like the data from the cell tower just doesn't work. For example, here's a speed test comparison I took in downtown Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania. You can see that there's a good signal on AT&T's network with the Cricut wireless phone, but the data just doesn't work well. Mint Mobile never had this issue. It always worked well, and in some locations, it was just absurdly fast. One thing that really surprised me about Mint Mobile was an all-made voicemail I received towards the end of my trial. It was voiced by actor Ryan Reynolds and basically said that I don't use as much data on the plan that I'm paying for and can save money by signing up to one of the cheaper plans. 
This blew my mind. The fact that Mint Mobile actively reaches out to their customers to save them more money, even if it potentially impacts their revenue. It shows the kind of company Mint Mobile truly is. All in all, Mint Mobile is an excellent wireless service provider. I was truly impressed with how great the service was despite the cost. Most of you are probably overpaying for wireless service through another provider and can save a lot of money by switching to Mint Mobile, assuming that coverage is good in your area. What's great about Mint is you can test the network with a different phone number first. If you end up liking and wanting to switch, you can always port in your number after the fact. It's basically risk-free. Visit mintmobile.com forward slash antenna man to get unlimited wireless for as little as $15 a month. For a limited time, Mint is offering all plans for just $15, which is basically 50% off their largest data plan. Keep in mind that in order to use Mint Mobile, you need either an unlocked or a T-Mobile brand phone. If your smartphone is through a carrier like AT&T or Verizon, you'll need to purchase a new phone in order to switch or at least try out the network. If you're in this situation and don't want to commit to an expensive flagship phone that you already have just to test drive the network, I include a few links to some unlocked Android smartphones under $100 in the description of the video. Each of these would work great to test drive Mint Mobile's network before committing to a more expensive unlocked flagship phone if you have something like the Google Pixel or Apple iPhone. Thanks so much for watching this YouTube video. Additional thanks to everyone who supports me on Patreon or as a member of my YouTube channel. If you'd like to help support my videos while getting exclusive perks, visit patreon.com forward slash antenna man or click the join button this video and you can also click the thanks button. Like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antenna man PA or sign up to my email list linked in the description. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more cord cutting and antenna related videos and have an awesome day.